Hey there, today we are diving straight into NVIDIA's groundbreaking announcements at CES 2025. From revolutionary GPUs to AI systems that push boundaries, NVIDIA is shaping the future of computing in ways we have only dreamed of. Let's break it all down. Let's start with what gamers have been waiting for. The RTX 50 series, powered by NVIDIA's new Blackwell architecture. Here's what makes these GPUs a game changer. 92 billion transistors, 380 ray tracing teraflops, 125 shader teraflops, 57 memory with 1.8 TB per second bandwidth, dual shader architecture combining floating point and integer operations. Neural texture compression for stunning visuals. Key innovation, using DLSS technology, only 10% of pixels are traditionally rendered, while AI generates the other 90%, enabling unprecedented performance. For a 4K frame, only 2 million pixels are rendered traditionally, while AI generates the other 33 million. The result, blazing fast performance and energy efficiency. Price overview, RTX 5070, $549 matches 4090 performance. RTX 5080, 999 dollar, a balanced powerhouse. RTX 5090, 1999 dollars, twice the performance of a 4090 at an unmatched value. Laptop gamers rejoice. Nvidia is packing 4090 level performance into sleek laptops under 15 mm thick. Now that we have seen the RTX 50 series, let's dive into Nvidia's AI factory. A monumental system redefining supercomputing. Its highlights include 1.5 tons of computing power, 600,000 parts equivalent to 20 cars, 2 miles of copper cable, 5,000 interconnects, 1.4 exaflops of AI performance, 14 terabytes of memory, 1.2 petabytes per second memory bandwidth, equivalent to current global internet traffic. 4x better performance per watt than the previous generation. 3x better performance per dollar. This powerhouse supports AI tools like ChatGPT and enterprise-grade solutions, catering to the growing needs of AI innovation. This is my show and tell. This is a show and tell. So, uh, this NVLink system, this right here, this NVLink system, this is GB200 NVLink 72. It is one and a half tons, 600,000 parts, approximately equal to 20 cars, 12, 12, 120 kilowatts. It has um, a spine behind it that connects all of these GPU together, two miles of copper cable, 5,000 cables. This is being manufactured in 45 factories around the world. We build them, we liquid cool them, we test them, we disassemble them, ship them parts, 
to the data centers because it's one and a half tons. We reassemble it outside the data centers and install them. The manufacturing is insane. But the goal of all of this is because the scaling laws are driving computing so hard that this level of computation, Blackwell over our last generation, improves the performance per watt by a factor of four. Performance per watt by a factor of four, perform, per, performance per dollar by a factor of three. That basically says that in one generation, we reduce the cost of training these models by a factor of three. Or if you want to increase um, the size of your model by a factor of three, it's about the same cost. But the important thing is this. These are generating tokens that are being used by all of us when we use ChatGPT or when we use Gemini, use our phones in the future. Just about all of these applications are going to be consuming these AI tokens. And these AI tokens are being generated by these systems. And every single data center is limited by power. And so if the perf per watt of Blackwell is four times our last generation, then the revenue that could be generated, the amount of business that can be generated in the data center is increased by a factor of four. And so these AI factory systems really are factories today. Now, the goal of all of this is to so that we can create one giant chip. Now let's talk about something truly revolutionary, Project Digits. NVIDIA has unveiled the world's smallest AI supercomputer designed to bring the power of Grace Blackwell to every desk. This is a game changer for AI developers, researchers and students. What makes Project Digit so special? It's powered by the GB10 superchip, a, sup a system on a chip sock based on the Grace Blackwell architecture, delivers one petaflop of AI performance at FP4 precision, making it incredibly powerful yet energy efficient. Features 128 GB of unified memory and up to 4 TB of NVMe storage allowing you to run 200 billion parameter large language models right from your desktop. With NVIDIA ConnectX networking, you can link two project digits systems to run models with up to 405 billion parameters. Why is this a big deal? Seamless scalability, prototype and fine-tune models on your local project digits system then deploy them on NVIDIA DGX Cloud or data center infrastru infrastructure without any hassle. Full NVIDIA AI stack compatibility. Access tools like NVIDIA, Nemo for fine tuning, Rapid for data science, and frameworks like PyTorch and Jupyter Notebooks. Enterprise grade AI. With NVIDIA AI Enterprise, you get security support and the ability to move from experimentation to production seamlessly. Project Digits will be available starting May 2025 with a starting price of $3,000. This is your chance to bring enterprise grade AI capabilities to your desk and supercharge your AI innovation. Next, NVIDIA introduced Cosmos, their world foundation model designed to understand the physical world. Think of it as a ChatGPT for robotics trained on 20 million hours of video. Cosmos understands gravity, friction, and objects, objects interaction, geospatial relationships, cause and effect dynamics. Cosmos is already advancing industries like robotics and autonomous vehicles, simulating real world scenarios to optimize performance and safety. Human robots. My friends, the chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. And in fact, all of the enabling technologies that I've been talking about is going to make it possible for us in the next several years to see very rapid breakthroughs, surprising breakthroughs in, in general robotics. Jensen Hyung shared an exciting vision the ChatGPT moment 
for humanoid robots is near with breakthroughs in AI and robotics. NVIDIA is enabling general purpose humanoid robot self-driving vehicles powered by NVIDIA's next gen, Thor processor. Thor offers 20 times the performance of its predecessor, making it to go-to chip for robotics and autonomous systems. From revolutionizing gaming to advancing AI and robotics, NVIDIA CES 2025 announcements highlight how they are shaping our tech-driven future. Jensen Young emphasized three major breakthroughs in production. Grace Blackwell Supercomputers, the world's first physical AI foundation model. Revolutionary advances in agentic AI for robots and self-driving cars. What are you most excited about? Is it the RTX 50 series, Cosmos, or the potential of personal AI supercomputers? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into the latest in AI and tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.